Welcome back to the Marsh, everyone, for another episode of Marsh Mania Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Today, we're going to talk about a couple different sampling techniques that we use to find critters here in the marsh. Now, if you've missed our earlier videos in the past couple weeks, you've missed out when us talking about the number one food source here in the marsh, detritus, as well as the plants that make this such a great habitat. And it is fantastic. And it functions mainly as a nursery ground. So the animals that we're catching with our different nets um, and equipment, they are all usually on the smaller side because this is where the babies or the juveniles are going to grow up. Now, a couple of the nets that I have with me today, small nets like this, which are called dip nets, and you can easily just dip in the water and kind of drag them along the bottom to see what you can scoop up. They work really well along the edges of the grass. Okay, so this is another net that we use, it's called a cast net. There's this really long uh, cord, little plastic ring on top. That inside of that ring, think of it more of like an umbrella, it has these little strings that go down and they attach to a weighted line or a lead line down below. Okay, that is going to like essentially buckle in the skirt or pull it in really tight so when we throw it, it's going to like cascade out and then make a big old scoop underneath. I like to actually tuck it under my chin. Hold it like this, and... We also have one of our bigger nets, which we will show you in some other videos. This is called a seine net. These nets are used all across the world for a lot of different reasons. Scientists use them, but also people just trying to catch their dinner or make a living. It's got a couple really important parts that I want to highlight for you. Our nets have these bright orange donuts on top. These are the floats. We call this the float line. This needs to be on top. On the bottom, there are some weights. That is the weighted line or the lead line, because these weights used to be made out of lead. These weights keep that bottom of the net down on the bottom. Now, if you have your own seine net, it's got a float line, it's got a weighted line, and you take it and you put it into the water with the weights on top and the floats on the bottom, you will catch exactly this many fish because your net's upside down. One of the most important things to remember with this net is if you want to catch lots of critters, you want to be as far apart as possible. So here we are pulling the seine net through the water we're staying as far apart from each other as we can to make sure we're covering the widest possible area. We're also making sure these wooden stakes on the ends are on the bottom so no fish can escape underneath them. Once we make it all the way to the beach, we're going to work together to scoop that net out of the water so again, fish can't get away. After we get that net raised out of the water, it's important we don't lay it back down in the water. We put it on the beach, and then we go and collect the critters before they're out of the water for too long. If you're at all curious about what critters came up in the net, make sure you come back and check our page next Monday for the latest installment in our Marsh Mania Monday series.